For weeks now, the world has been entranced by the progress of a herd of wild elephants wandering in China. The elephants have become something of a social media sensation as they continue a more than 500-kilometer trek from their home in a wildlife reserve. A young male that left the herd of 15 elephants 12 days ago has now been located 20 kilometers away. Well, Ian Douglas Hamilton is the founder and senior scientist at Save the Elephants. I asked him if what we're seeing is normal behavior. It is quite unprecedented, but um, it depends how far back you look in history, because uh, there was a Chinese scholar called uh, Huan Ran who studied the elephant's range and actually plotted the decrease of the range over the last 5,000 years. And the elephants are heading back in the direction where they used to live 1,500 years ago. So I don't know if there's any memory, nor do I know um, if there have been recent movements like that. I haven't heard of them. So it's, a, it's an unusual migration, but it's intriguing that it's going in the direction from whence they came. What does this particular herd's migration say about um, uh, the dangers of changing habitat for wildlife around the world? Are they leaving where they used to live in search of food and water and safety? It might be possibly so. I went to Shishwambana, where they came from, some 10 years ago, and they were being well looked after by the Chinese and um, the habitat looked pretty good. But of course, if things are drying up or if there's a food shortage, that would perhaps provoke them to migrate. And what about their behavior? Because it seems very ordered. It almost seems as if there's a tour leader, the mothers are looking after the babies. It, it seems quite a, an organized excursion. Well, I'm sure that it is led by a matriarch, because the matriarch is the, the wise leader and the repository of a lifetime of experience. But what is strange is that she has never been there before, and um, elephants do sometimes wander. We know that birds follow migration um, for, the, for the first time. We know that they don't have to have traveled the journey to know where to go. Are you saying the same happens with elephants, that they have some inbuilt DNA about these, these journeys? I think it'd be different from birds. Birds seem to be hardwired with the idea of their migration route. And some of them can go on a, a very complicated migration without ever being taught it. Elephants normally have to be taught. They have a long childhood where they grow, grow up and they learn from their parents. Um, so that usually goes to movements. The, the movements um, are led by the elders. The elephants have become an internet station around the world. Uh, millions of people have, uh, have watched uh, their journey. Why do you think that is? Why, why are we so transfixed by the story? Well, elephants have a worldwide um, fan club. There's no doubt about it in every country in the world. So um, I think people are aware that they are animals that are conscious, very conscious, that they think their own thoughts and they have a lot of very interesting behavior. They've got amazing social behavior towards each other. They guard each other, they teach each other, especially the elders, and uh, they also exhibit compassion when elephants are in trouble. Those elephants may not even be related to those that show compassion, but I think that's one of the most interesting things. It's rare within the animal kingdom for uh, an animal to be truly altruistic towards uh, someone who's not a relative but elephants will respond to other elephants in distress. The elephant's progress inevitably uh, has some tensions and difficulties because they're coming into contact with, uh, with humans who farm land, live uh, in the path of their journey, and that's difficult, isn't it? Well, I find 
the response of the Chinese people and the, the, the officials to be just as remarkable as the elephant's behavior. Um, they, uh, uh, people in the way of the elephants have been instructed to be uh, kind and not to pest the elephants, not to uh, watch them unduly closely or to get in their way, and to understand that elephants sometimes might instinctively react to people coming near them and attack. So it's been a very hum humane response in the finest traditions of Chinese ecological civilization, which is a concept I understand is, is widely held within China.